Warning, today's vlog is on a sensitive subject, money. Hey, welcome to the Long Care Vlog. Ryan with a GoPro and a Volvo. And like my friend Tim Burgess likes to say, when most people hear somebody talk about money, a shriek of pain just flows through their nervous system and they're just like, oh no, don't, don't talk about money. But, you know, I'm assuming a lot of you guys are business owners and managing money is going to be vital to your business success and quality of life and everything like that. So I just wanted to make a quick little vlog on it. I don't want to offend anybody or make anybody feel uncomfortable or anything like that, but I think it's a, an important subject, so I'm going to touch on it. So. Before I get started, if you, if you like the videos, please like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. I reply to every comment that you know warrants a response, and I really appreciate all the likes and uh, everyone who subscribed. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Um, really, you know, encourage, encourages me to continue to make these vlogs every day, and I I enjoy doing it. So, thank you very much. But on the subject of money. Um, Basically, the point of this vlog is going to be, I think it's just so important if you're running a business to manage your personal finances as well as your business finances, if you are planning on being successful and growing a business, especially, I mean, especially, especially at the beginning, because in a, a lawn care and landscaping business, you're really going to have to reinvest a lot of the money you bring in back into the business to buy another trailer, another mower, a new sprayer, a new truck, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, you might outgrow running out of your house or running out of a storage unit. You need to get a shop that's gonna be, you know, probably a thousand dollars a month with um, between insurance, rent, uh, utilities, et cetera, et cetera. So I just, I feel like I have, uh, I'm in a very secure financial position, but I have not always been in a very secure financial position, but I've always been very careful with my money. Honestly, I really only like spending money on things that make me more money. If, if I know if I spend a thousand dollars or even if it's a hundred dollars or five dollars, whatever it is, if I, if I know that by investing that money in whatever I'm purchasing, it will return more money down the road. That's a good purchase for me. So I know like a lot of my employees live paycheck to paycheck and I'm not really happy about that. But at the same time, I can't, you know, tell them what to do with their money. That's, that's their choice. And if they want to spend, you know, literally every dollar they have before, until they get their next paycheck, there's nothing I can do about that. But I think they say you want to have six months or something like that of expenses in the bank. I personally, right now, I'm sitting at two years. If I didn't bring in another dollar for two years, I could just maintain the same quality of life I live right now. I have equity in my house, so when I go to sell my house, I'll get like forty thousand um, dollars. You know, I have very few loans out because I was willing to not put a lot of money in my pocket over the prior years of running my business. I, I paid off loans. Um, like when I bought my, my three U-Hauls, I wrote a check and bought those three U-Hauls. So my, my payment's zero. Um, like I'm looking at buying a really nice car. I'm a car guy, but I, I don't plan on having a car payment uh, I'd really like to get like a 2004 to 2006 Lamborghini Gallardo for around 90 to 110 thousand dollars and just pay cash for it. But um, that would probably be a really dumb financial decision. I'm probably gonna end up with like a 2016 Corvette for around 45 to 50 thousand dollars because of the cost of ownership because it is literally like. 20 grand to replace the clutch in a Lamborghini. I've really been looking into it. But, um, like in the past, I've had, you know, starting my business, I was worried about making payroll, stuff like that. 
So I know what what it's like, and I didn't spend any money. Like it, every dollar I got went back into the business because because it had to, or I wasn't gonna be able to pay my pay my notes. I wasn't gonna be able to pay my guys. But over time, I've accumulated money, and I act like I don't have it. It's just sitting in my bank account, and I, I do like max out my. Uh, what is it, IRA or 401k, whatever it is. I'm not big on that. I got a really good financial advisor that takes care of that. And we kind of go back and forth because I am not into putting money away for when I'm old. Like, that's crazy to me. And honestly, like, if you're getting like 8 to 9% return on a long term, term investment like that with inflation, and how the value of the dollar just keeps going down. It's like literally a wash and you just had your money sitting somewhere this whole time. So I guess you get to get it back. But um, like last year we did, uh, I cut him a check for 10 grand and we, we invested that in uh, some kind of oil pipeline fund. And that's, that's like a three or four year investment and it's been averaging like a 14% return. So that's more, and I can leave it in there longer, but you know, if I leave it, if I just leave it in there for three or four years, I'd you know get way more than my 10 grand back. And I believe I'm putting like 200 a month or something. I need to get with my financial advisor. He wants to hop on a, a YouTube video or a, and, and or the podcast. So he's, he's an awesome guy. What's up, Darren? Warts Financial Services, I guess. I need to learn his company. It's Darren Warts. He is a, a solid, solid financial advisor. I don't know what the rules are with them advising people in other states, but if you're looking for a financial advisor, I would highly recommend him. He actually referred me to my CPA, and boy, am I appreciative of that because I have ran through CPAs over the years running my business, and don't let them fool you because they have their, uh, you know, certified public accountant um, designation, and you know they they're keeping up their CEUs and they've taken the schooling or whatever. Because a lot of them have no clue what they're doing. And another thing is, is even if you have a CPA prepare your taxes, when you sign off on your taxes, you're telling the IRS that your taxes are correct. So even if your CPA messes that up it is on you so it is crucial to make sure you have a, a good cpa i mean especially when you start making hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars a year in your business because you do not want to get in trouble with the irs but it's ryan with long crack please let let me know what you think about uh, you know what what is how important is it to you to manage your personal money as well as your business money I like to keep a nest egg in there just in case something goes wrong. Like I just had to replace an engine. I wrote a check for 8,000 bucks and you know, life goes on. So that's why I think it's important because what if I, what if I didn't have that 8,000 bucks? I, I actually, I have a whole extra truck and set up and everything. So we just started using the extra truck, but you know, it, it could put a small business out of business is what I'm is what I'm saying. If you can't, if you can't get your equipment to the job sites, you're gonna lose those customers pretty quick. But hey, it's Ryan with Long Crack and the Lawn Care Business Academy podcast on iTunes, Google Play Music, and Stitcher. However you prefer, you can get it. Everything's free. Everything we do is free right now. Might might stay that way forever. So all we're trying to do is help you guys grow your business, make you think about things that maybe you don't want to think about, but maybe you maybe you should be thinking about. So I hope you enjoyed, hope you found value in this. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. Have a great day, keep making money.